So this year's lectures center on the theme of global arts and witness in multi-faith contexts. This conference, through the lectures, the demonstrations, and the live performances, will explore the role of the arts as a central aspect for helping peoples from many different cultures and faiths and religions to get caught up in the gospel story. While early missionaries often studied the arts of other people, Protestant missionaries came later to place greater emphasis on the rational and cognitive dimensions of faith, and as a result, uh, much of the 19th and 20th century mission enterprises mostly ignored the aesthetic and affective dimensions of our lives and therefore also of our interactions with people across cultural and religious boundaries. In the 20th centuries, other movements, including the rise of Pentecostalism, yes, yeah. and a fresh focus on worship, helped us all recover a sense of the centrality of artistic practice for Christian faith and witness. So over the next few days, we, are, we will reflect on the role of the arts in mission history and practice. In the 21st century, the inescapable in encounter between religious traditions has dramatically changed and impacted the context of Christian mission. Therefore, it invites and offers us as leaders and as mission practitioners new opportunities to engage with the living aesthetic traditions of the world's faiths. These 2018 Missiology Lectures will seek to assess the significance of this new situation and contribute to developing an evangelical missiology and spiritual theology of the arts that will serve and empower the witness of the church in a world of many religions. I want to take a moment also to thank the Luce Foundation for their support of a number of Center for Missiological Research initiatives, including their funding support for a, a part of this conference here as well. They have promoted initiatives in religion and in theology and in culture across uh, many of our schools in North America, and we're grateful for the funding received from the Luce Foundation to help us with this conference. 